Yo, what's up, Kratos? How you doing? Just finished watching foreign ads on your stream. Ugh. What kind of foreign, dude? Don't tell me you're getting New Zealand ads. Mexico ones, wow. Where you get the cheap tortillas, dude. You gotta buy them in bulk. Ship them over the border. How you been anyway, man? You, uh... You getting involved in the goon war that's just starting up? Like 120 kills in one night? Damn, dude. They're all solo, right? All solo kills, right? For sure, for sure. What's the plan tonight? Hunting Ishtars? No, no Ishtars tonight. I just, um, I want to do a bit of exploration, see how, see how it goes on stream, just like, uh, solo pacifier going into Nell, and see if I can get some kills as well. Um, yeah, and just see if it ends up being good, I'll do it more often, but I, I can't really be bothered, like, proper hunting hunting today for PvP. It takes effort, you know. I've been working on some like some really fun fits that I'm going to take out in the future, but I just need to train a couple skills. Your pocket had a bunch of them like 20 minutes ago, and then you cleared all of them, right? Last time I took this out, I actually ended up in um, GE TAC. I died very fast because I got bumped off a <laughs> I got bumped off a station by campers. Felt bad. And I only do combat sites, yeah. I'm thinking about like uh putting together a Loki that can do both ESS and combat sites and just roaming around for a couple hours in those. Eventually I'll do that anyway. Um not doing that tonight. But I think like it'd be a good way to like, you know. Maybe run some angel sites and then uh, try to get a fight or two in the ESS at the same time and not really have to worry too much about grinding out for content. I think, like, the game's pretty quiet around now, so got to find something to do instead of just talking shit into an empty system.
Something's bugging out. Couple technical difficulties to start the day. Love it. Okay, there we go. Look at that dude, such a pretty ship. Wow. I just got this skin and it cost me my entire wallet. That's what I'm running. Dual prop, scram, three ACs, four purple launcher, and a relic analyzer. Sure, I'll be able to kill some stuff in this, for sure, if I can catch it. I kind of want to fork out for a, for a ligature so I can do data sites as well, but I'm pretty sure it's not even worth it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I think I might actually. Yeah, yeah, uh Agro, we're doing doing a bit of taking it a bit easy today, just doing a bit of exploration. Uh but trying to find kills along the way. And hopefully um hopefully make a bit of money so I can keep funding the PvP, you know? Yeah, let's get one of these. I wonder how many sites it'll take to to refill that. Pay for that. Tap this on. Yeah, that looks better. Should be easy, should be easy, right? I won't die instantly, right? If everything goes well in terms of making some money today, I will probably eat a battleship or two in the next stream, I think. I've got a couple fits that I really want to test out uh, to brawl, so should be fun.
Nothing. I brought a lot of uh, a lot of drugs. I probably don't need all of them, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I might need to bribe my way out of a sticky situation, so they're always helpful. I'll just take a noise to start and see what happens. I need a fleet. Cool. Time to time to get rich. What's up? Let's see how does that look? I don't like wormhole exploration. I think it's more lucrative than null. Um, so there are, like, depending on the region you're in, the exploration is more lucrative. So if you, for instance, go to Sancha regions, then you're going to get more lucrative sites than anywhere else possible. Uh, the thing about wormholes is that in low class, you can... Um, you have the chance of going into a place where they have faction spawns of Sancha, as well as like Garistas, maybe. And that can like potentially allow you to get really good drops. But for the most part, if you go to specific regions, you know what you're going to get. But I'll check out, I'll check out any wormholes that I stumble across, right? We'll see if there's any good stuff out there. It's my local chat oh, over here. Let's chuck it up here. So this is Angel Space, so it's not super lucrative, but I'll run these anyway. Like I'll check, I'll check them out, see what we get. I just want loot. So these guys are the easiest way to do these sites as well. Save here. I can warp off and warp back at range. And because these sites aren't beaconed, you can ping off and ping back, and it's much faster than burning around and much safer. So I'll show you. So then I can warp back to this one at 100 when I land. This is a weird site. Warp drive active.
Now I'll get rid of this one. Now I can warp back and forth and just run these quickly. See what's going on. I'm sure this guy won't be camping them right. I haven't done this in a very long time. Oh, dude. I think like the faction ones are slightly worse. And I think I, I'm, I'm very rusty at this, actually, it seems. Dude, I am garbage at this. Yeah, my virus strength is reduced by those. I can't even. This is the worst look. Yeah, I lose that can, unfortunately. Getting pluses already. Caracal. I wonder if these guys have scanned this site. I have to be careful. Change it to a clean overview so I can see straight away if they turn up. Maybe these ones are like the hardest difficulty ones. Mainframes, I think. Yeah. And then the comms tower, I think, are the lower difficulty ones. Oh well, oh well. Flash run long. Interesting. Yeah, this is Cyberpunk 2077, and I am, uh, I am John Wick, the star of Cyberpunk 2077. Yeah, I'm funny picture mining. Brain, okay. Let's kill this. We go down here. Get rid of this one. Oh, I forgot to press the button. Wow, just as easy as that. Didn't even take any effort. Now what do I get? 100 mil. I'm sure, I'm sure. 860,000 is... Dude, I hate data sites. I'm never doing one ever again. I give up. All that work for it. I didn't even get a peanut out of that, dude. No peanuts. I'm gonna I'm just gonna ignore that. 
That's right. I hate it. I think if I was like properly set up for this, I'd be in like a relic is more lucrative and easier than data. Yeah, yeah. I think data is not even worth it. I probably should have just brought a, a relic analyzer, but Kratos tricked me. Let's go over this way. I still don't have T2 trained. Yeah, I don't have like great training on this character for um for scanning, right? Like level threes and stuff. It doesn't matter too much. Get rid of this ping. Another data site. If it's like a ghost site or something, it's potentially worth running. Well, not a ghost site, but one of those uh, sleeper caches or whatever. You feel the difference in skill in the hardest cans? Yeah, for sure. I think like the um, faction analyzers are slightly worse as well because you only get um, one slot for your for your tools instead of uh, three or whatever. Let's go like that. And I don't think I'll be able to scan this can, but we'll see. Cross line, you get two slots. That's probably why they're so expensive. Oh, it's a standard sleeper cache. I think, let me Google it real quick. I think those are the like cruiser ones. I think you can run like the first rune in a frigate, but you still have the potential of dying, which is not great, you know, not great. Let's have a look. It's hard to clear. Yeah, I think I'm just going to move on. Uh, just judging by the fact that I can barely even scan it, I'm going to take that as my sign to leave. Wait, they got rid of the they got rid of the big button. Hey medic, how's it going, dude? That was a fast it's a fast raid. I only just started streaming. How was your uh how's your stream? Sleep, take care of them? Yeah, I will, I will. They can uh they can watch me they can watch me fumble my first time doing exploration in, in a very long time. Wow, they changed the overview so the big button to recover your probes is now a tiny little one here. Which is kind of annoying. So I know I'm definitely gonna mess that button up when I'm combat scanning someone sometime. But yeah, I'm just out. And a humble little pacifier. Seeing if I can make a bit of a bit of money. So I can fund my expensive habit of shooting ships and losing ships. Flat that puppy in compact mode. Oh, is that what it does? Okay. It's a difference. Oh, it just gets rid of like the title and stuff. Yeah, that's a bit cleaner, I guess. Maybe I'll chuck it down here. I don't need that space. Let me figure out where we're gonna go. Well, let's just let's just yellow a gate. See what happens. region am I even in? Immense, yeah. Who lives here? Angels? We want to get to Sancho's space so I can start making some good dinero. Look at that. Dot land.
probably look while I'm jumping a gate, right? Eat. Nothing here. Let's yellow another gate while I look at the map. Mencia? Okay, I'm two jumps over, or two regions over from Stain. So I have to go into Catch and Stain. I think Catch is where the goons are, right? You're not gonna, you're not gonna stream snipe me, are you? Uh, Kratos. Let's just burn off this gate. Launch. You can start scanning. Point, scan there. Okay. I did just filament, but went to Dell. Lol. Combat sites. Ugh. Not in this ship. this ship name type uh so it is a pacifier i'll show you in a second i'm just setting my desto here go dss set that there keep it secret i'll show you i'll show you This is the pacifier. It's one of the um the Concord ships. I planted eleven jumps away. Ooh, feels bad. Yeah, and it's basically it's a covert ops ship. So it allows you to get scanning bonuses for your probes, as well as hacking bonuses. So you can make a bit of extra money faster. And you can also put a covert ops cloak, so you can warp cloaked. So it's super safe. If you fit it for like pure exploration, then you can potentially get it. So it's like pretty much impossible to catch because you can get nullified and warp stabbed and all that good stuff. But I'm fitting for con for compact uh, combat as well, so that I can hopefully kill some other people doing the same thing as me. Yo, what's up, Exit? How are you doing, dude? <laughs> oh, we got a relic site, dude. I'm gonna be rich. Uh, Exit, I've, I've become a PvE here, dude. I've succumbed for the, for the need for capital. Yeah, let's go. Warp at a hundred, save a ping on the way. Oh no, PvE streams. I'm hunting as well, I'm hunting as well, but... I'm, uh... I just can't be bothered, like, working, working PvP right now. We all have to make money exactly, exactly. I would like to eventually, like, pick up a, uh... Like a Loki, like a hundred MN Loki, and do like DEDs at the same time as I do uh, ESS. But all in good time. So I think ruins are the hardest ones. So I'm going to start with the easiest ones just so I can get take the rust off of it. Let's turn our cloak off. I lost a hundred in Loki the other day. I didn't. Well, I didn't lose. I just let someone borrow it and they lost it. Oh, it's the old friend tax. Feels bad, dude. 
Was it one of the uh, blingy ones, or was it just a pretty normal one? It was a fun run though. It was pretty bling blissful mods. Nice. Oh, that, yeah, that's unfortunate. Are you doing some small gang? Oh, four mil. Nice. Hard drive active. Wait, did you lose it in a uh, in an ESS fight, or did you lose it outside? Let's go rubble. That's another easy one. Hard drive active. What am I doing? Actually throwing. It's easy. Yeah, it was three of us and 100 men Loki's roaming. We were fighting an ESS and a bunch of other... 100 men T3Cs showed up with Lynx. Oh, Polaris mercenaries. I haven't fought them before, actually. They seem fun. Army warped off to the sun. Oh, no. Yeah. Before I give my friend a blingy ship, I'd probably make sure he has a proper warp out tab, you know? At least a full, full overview tab of moons, you know? So many options to warp to, and so few ways to die, if you have one. Yeah. Oh no. I really expected to die a lot faster than this, but I suppose, like, if I'm if I'm not out looking for PvP, you just don't die straight away. It feels kind of good. I think it'll change when I get disdain, though.
Okay, these are the harder ones, so I'm probably going to blow up two cans in a row and get no loot at all, but we'll see, we'll see. See if I can open this. Close this down so I can just see how much money I'm making. Put it there. Wow, Eve is easy, dude. That's already. Wait, maybe it's just drugs in my cargo. That's all that. That's where all that stuff is coming from. I've nearly got enough to buy a slicer now, which is epic. So I love slicers. Ready Warrior, how's it going, dude? How are you? It's currently a PvE stream, but maybe I'll find a fight later. Those things are annoying. Wow, 32,000 isk. I'm rich. I'm rich. Now we just jump out. I think the site's finished, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leave. Clean up that. Maybe I'll just hit my, uh... Huge. Exactly. That's a jackpot, dude. afford a few herons soon yeah yeah i might even be able to pay off this ship soon who knows who knows drive active. it cost a, co a cozy 300 mil or something with the with the faction with the faction scanner that's currently just nerfed me <laughs> You know, trust, once I get to Sancho's space, I'll be rolling in the heavy plates and stuff. Okay, 12 and local. Gate camp, question mark. Who are these guys? 
Celestial Empire. And the middle, go up to the Senate range. See what's going on here. Never fought against these guys before, so I don't know how aggressive they are. Doesn't really seem like much is out, to be honest. Sucks that faction analyzer only has one utility slot with its price. It should be more than that. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna turn. I was gonna come out with a single relic, but then I I was tempted by by the butt for to get one. <laughs> but it's all good. It's all good. I know for next time. That site, all that work, or just a combat site. Do you do much uh, exploration, Agro? Seems like you know what you're talking about. combat site. Nice. Good start. Still nothing on the scan. I think these guys are AFK. Yeah, I'm in a wormhole corp, so I do explore a lot. I see, I see. Uh, which corp are you in? That sucks at PvP. I see, I see. Yeah, I think, like, depending on the type of wormhole it, you're in, it can be very difficult to get into PvP. Like, if you're in a C4 or a C5 or something, or even a C2 with only a high 6 static, like, getting into PvP can be difficult. Because you're just not very exposed to it, except for uh, wormhole brawling and stuff, which is fun. A data site? Heck no, dude. We're not doing that. Let's do a ping off this gate. I don't really want to get pushed into a bubble. B3 with a low six static. Solar Mark is my corp. A small US corp. C. C3 with a low sec. That's pretty nice. I suppose you, you, you won't get really many day trippers because day trippers usually come from high six statics, right? 79 tunes. Wow. Orator, is that the Take Two ship? Oh, I'm gonna burn for this guy. He might get away though. We'll see. Yeah, he's away. Oh well. Oh, 
Also prorator. Is that tech two or is it tech one? I think it's the tech two Amar blockade runner. Yeah, blockade runner. Maybe I could have caught it, I'm not sure. Let's actually go in and hold cloak. Let's see. Seemed like he was just cleaning up his gate. Still one mobile large warp disruptor here, so let's hang out near it and cloak. Prop one cycle here while I'm cloaked, so. If he doesn't have a Nelly, oh, there he is. Oh, he's already off, dude. The guy's fast. Oh well. Oh well. Oh wait, he didn't even take it. He just warped straight away as soon as he saw me decloak. Okay, none in local here. Just warp. The moon. I don't know why they did this graphical change to the uh, analyzer or the probe scanner, but I, dis I dislike it immensely. But it is what it is. I guess I'm also farming these as well, right? I get a reward bundle? What's in there? Five needlejack filaments? Hell yeah. Or one. I'm actually getting rich so fast off this stuff. How many iskies is that? Four hundred thirty-seven thousand, bro. Hecka isk incoming. Exactly. Exactly. That's all part of the plan. I actually do want to farm the skill points from it, even though you only get like 300,000 or something. Time to eat a Corvette. Exactly. No guns, though. Guns are expensive. Data site. Yuck. I haven't done Expo in so long. Yeah, neither. 300k SP is decent if you're a high school character. That's two other sides. Yeah, that's pretty much a free... Free, what, like 1.5 bill or something? Pretty handy. Yeah, this is my first time doing Expo in a very long time. I've just kind of wanted to do it because it's like, it's very chill, very relaxing, you know, unless you're getting hunted. But even then, you can usually hunt them back, right? Just go on this side. Three hours, rename it ping. Ping, uh, I'm quiet. Let's see if I can fix that.
stream is blast. My ears at level and I can barely hear the lo-fi. Okay. Uh, I'll turn up the lo-fi. And I'm sure, like, is my mic not loud enough? You can turn yourself up a tad bit. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's just my gain. One second. I want to hear you, King. Yeah, I think it's just my gain. I should be better, right? I um I turned it down yesterday because I was playing Valorant. And I don't know. I was just getting too many e girls hitting me up because of my because of my voice, you know. It was too loud. Uh, even this isn't a good warp, and what am I doing? Warp drive active. Messing me up, dude. Oh god, what a problem to have. It's a serious issue, dude. It's, serious. it's no laughing matter. This one called ping. Just, I'll just bookmark one of these and then. Oh, you can't. It's just decloak and burn. Couldn't hear you over the Eve UI of my client. Oh, okay. You're too busy, too busy listening to your hull armor sound. Just do this one first. Warp drive active. I don't know if many of you guys play a uh, Valorant, but I recently hit gold. I'm very happy with myself, very satisfied. I kind of wish there was like some sort of ranking system in Eve for like either the abyssals or whatever, some kind of PF PVP. So you could, you know, be super egotistical about getting kills and stuff. What does this one even do? Oh, okay. Then I can kill it. Gold is a great physical asset to protect your wealth. Well done. Yeah, yeah, dude. Probably the best asset at the moment in general. It's the only thing that's not freaking sinking, right? Except for, except for Plex. You could go by weekly recent points ranking. Didn't they have rankings in the 1v1 arenas and stuff? Uh, I'm not sure. I know that, I know that their, their like kind of ranking system is kind of bad just because it's, it's only based on the amount of wins slash losses you have. Uh, whereas like a, a proper ELO system would have um, would have like an averaged ranking over the amount of fights you've had, right? Instead of just like only rewarding people who do it a bunch. Oh, 7 mil, not bad. Yeah, exactly. It just takes into account wins, like Exit says. You can go 50 wins, 5,000 losses, and someone with 49-0 would be ranked below you. Exactly. Yeah, you could have like a 0.1% win rate, but just you just have more time than someone else, and you end up number one or whatever. Quite silly. But, you know, uh, you know, Elo's only been around for, what, a couple, couple hundred years. It's pretty hard to program.
Oh no. This sucks. We just lose this, unfortunately. Yeah, I want a uh, elo for for exploration as well. You know, I want to get my exploration ranking up. Exploration later, Lord. Exactly, exactly. These are the things we need, CCP. And if people doing speed runs of the minigun. Yeah, some people are actually crazy at this, though. They're so cracked. Kill that? Yeah, I can. Nine hundred thousand for five minutes of stress. Worth it. Worth it. Hard drive active. Nothing on scan. Who is this guy? Order of a Myrtle Celestial Empire. Okay. Just an old sicker. Probably gonna decloak a Loki on me and then I'll solo him, right? That's how it goes. We'll go hardest to easiest this time. Hard drive active. And this Sarah, a very, very nice ninja suit. Thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Happy sight sailing. Exactly, exactly. I actually have quite a nice suit on at the moment. But I think a ninja suit would be much better. Much, much better. How are you doing, alien cargo? Oh, no. Off to a terrible start. Doing good, bro. A bit bored, but as they say, it's just a state of mind. Do something about it. Exactly, exactly. I get bored and I just subject myself to to the torture of doing exploration. You know. How are things here? Uh, they're pretty good. Pretty good. I decided I was gonna try out doing some a bit of PVE on stream. So I'm in the. Uh, looks sad at the moment, but I'm in a pacifier that's fit for combat. Do a prop with a single rep. And I'm just gonna try to try to fund my uh addictive PvP habits a little bit at least. Drive. Uh and hopefully find a couple kills along the way. The scrapifier, exactly. I'm gonna actually rename it that. Yeah, I would go out and do some PvP, but I'm um, I'm kind of like I've got a couple fits that I'm looking forward to running that I have to train into first. So 
any PvP other than that seems pretty pretty hard to do at the moment. Making money while getting jumped by very bad men. No, no, no. I'm not the one who gets jumped. I am the one who jumps. Jumps? Yeah. But then again, last time I did, I did actually get jumped, so who knows, who knows. All my court mates have just recently uh, moved into a wormhole, so they're off hunting as well, so... If anything interesting happens on that front, I might jump over quickly and take part in that, but... Just taking it easy, you know? Wow, this game is so easy. Who lives in Amencia at the moment? A few years back, Red Alliance were fighting for their home, but lost the war in the end. I think it's still mainly Russian groups who live in the south here. Uh, couldn't be certain. You moved back to Thera? No, no. Um, they actually, courtmates, just pitched a tent in, the, in a C3 recently, a Pulsar. So they've been um, rage rolling, drive active. rage rolling there and hunting into Nelsec, a uh, C3 with a Nelsec static. So not 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 a low second like you. Yeah, I haven't actually spent much time in the south, like fighting in general, with exception to going to delve right because uh, filaments always take you there. But, um... No. I think, uh, goons are currently about to start fighting down here. In catch, at least. I'm not sure about Amencia, what's going on here. Maybe it's just renters, to be honest. I wouldn't be surprised. Must be nice to have filaments take you to Delve. Might always take me to Vale of the Silent. Yeah, yeah. I think it depends on what time you're filamenting, right? As soon as you start filamenting in AUTZ or CNTZ, you're kind of screwed. Let's have a look. There is one more that I didn't scan. This one. This button. Sarah, what bomber do you think is best as a blue Sino? Depends. Do you mean like dropping on blues or lighting blue Sinos? Because if it's lighting, I don't know, dude. I think like between the Nemesis and maybe the Purifier, you have good options. Nemesis gets Nemesis gets four mids, whereas the Purifier gets three, but the, the Purifier gets three lows. So you can potentially fit for more armor attack because it has more power grid as well. Or, I don't know. Honestly, I think like all bombers should, especially blue Sinos, should just be looked as like disposable ammo, right? Data site, gross. Yeah. It's basically, do you want more tank or a web? Exactly, exactly. Those were the two I thought I saw. Yeah. Yeah, so you can... Uh... Yeah, so you get four mids, so you can scram multiple targets, potentially. Or, like, do double scram in a web if you really want to lock something down. Um, and then you just have to... Basically, you know you're going to die, so you just hull tank it. And then you just um, pray that you won't die in time so you can hand it off. To your next, the next person dropping in. Adding bomber to Doctor Bunga's training. 
Nice, nice. Yeah. Um. Also, like, training into Tech 2 Amar in general for a frigate is really good because you get malediction access, right? So you can always use your ult as a scepter if you're not using it as a, as a, as a bomber. So think about those as well. Think about like the extra things you get from training a tech two, a tech two clone. This one in here. I bet this guy's already scanned it, but we'll see. I don't actually know how often Nelsekers scan their own SIGs. Independence, that's a combat site that I cannot do. Keep going. I was considering switching to Pilgrim from Arazu as well, so he can be a curse alt. Yeah, I don't know. Um, the thing about the Pilgrim, it's like such a good armor, Sino, but when it comes to actually holding down targets, it's, it just fails because it's so slow if you played it, right? I would just, I would Arazu 100% of the time over a Pilgrim, unless you need just an insigner for supers or something. And also, like, do you really need another curse alt? Like, curses are only good if, if they're on your mains, really. Oh, one of my uh, old alliance mate just turned up in local. He was also in uh, the AG with me. Oh yeah, is he still in Lord with you, Kratos? Caesar? Yeah, he is. Initiative. Gank him? Hell yeah, dude. Let me find him. Let me find him. I'm gonna quickly plug my, my Twitch to him. Ah, never mind, never mind. Hunting blobs, eh? Guildy's still up to the same shenanigans, are they, Kratos? Why is the right-click menu so slow? Is it because of the UI update or something? Just from the chat menu, it's so slow. Yeah, it's not just me? Okay. Yeah, so like UI update borked right click. Because it's fine in space and like everything here, but as soon as I do it from chat, it's like I just clicked and it's like five to ten seconds. 
Yeah, look at that. I don't understand. They updated, they updated to DirectX 12, but forgot to implement the optimizations. Oof, feels bad. Is this the road corner? It sure is, dude. How you doing, Caesar? Thank you for the follow, dude. Hope you find many targets. You gotta share your kill mails and chat if you if you find anything good. Yeah, yeah. I did not expect to come across you in in Tenerife, of all places. I'm on my way to feed somewhere near your alliance, so. See what happens. Imagine upgrading to a computer from 1990 to Windows 10. It'll be even slower because Windows 10 isn't optimized for 16-bit computers. Like, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So they basically updated all their all their software and they weren't prepared for it. Interesting. That's probably why their uh, tether graphics broke as well, right? Go hunt nerds in GE Tech or the grabs and fountain still. Hey, I would gank him if I could, Greedo Stunt. <laughs> I wasn't. It was. It was for a lack of uh, opportunity, not for lack of trying. Right? And I was trying to combat scan him with my with my core probes here. Didn't catch you, oh, dude. Just give me the time and place. Yeah, I actually I want to go into GE Tech sometime soon and have a fight, but I've got to got to get a gang together. Because uh, they're pretty pretty serious in that that space, right? One v one later, sure, sure. Only if you only if you actually show up this time and don't fall asleep. He is war staging for us. Yeah, it was fun going into like um T five Z, and. Uh, and 1DQ back when the war was on, sometimes at least. Sounds like the Confessor has been thrown. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, we'll, we'll 1v1. Cave devs are literally idiots. Yeah. And you just have a, have a few oversights while making their changes, right? They're capable. They just uh, got to do a bit more groundwork. I can hate explore. Yeah, fair enough. I'm so bad at it. Yeah, it's uh, it's not easy. This is my first time doing it in, in a very long time. I just felt like doing something other than uh PvP for a little bit. Well, I'm trying to get some PvP, but you know that's not the entire like point of going out and doing this. It's just I feel like chilling and not having to think about combat right now. I still feel like streaming, so I gotta do something. Yo, boxer buddy, how you doing, dude? Oh seven, oh seven. That's my uh, that's my first scuffed emote that I tried to put together. Right, <laughs> I'll get some better runs eventually, but for now, what ship is it? I'm in a pacifier. Look at it, isn't it pretty? It was skin, dude. Stratios? No, no way, no way. All it needs is a is a blue Sino and I'll be set, right? Maybe a maybe a Panther sitting on the other side. Yeah, I love the pacifier, dude. It's such a good looking ship. 
Oh, you baited. How's he? How you doing? Yeah, I'm. Um, it kind of it's kind of annoying because you need four high slots to do like full DPS, but you need two high slots for your covert ops and your your probe launcher. Um, so it's a bit suboptimal for both activities, but you know I'm just trying to do what I I can do. But it does more DPS than the the equivalent Astero fit, which only does like 90, whereas this one can potentially do like 250 or 208. Sorry, my skills are lacking. But that's enough to punch through an Astero's active rep, unless he's like full proper rep fit and really on top of what he's doing. But then if I can't break him and he has me scrammed, I can disengage with my AB and scram. Why not blasters? Um, there are some ships that have blasters that I can't engage if I'm close to them. So like if I find an Eris, for instance, or like a Tyrannus or something, I can control them with my ship and sit at range and uh, basically scram kite them is what I'm saying. But if I, if I did blasters, we would just be trading and I would lose that fight because my tank isn't as good as a, as like a properly fit Eris. And I probably wouldn't apply as well to a properly fit Tyrannus. So I'm just trying to, working on fits to try to increase my engagement profile as much as possible. But I think it's definitely just the first, uh, first test of it and I'll see how it goes. And I'll, I'll tweak it as we go. But for now, I think it's okay. Thoughts on the Dramiel. I love the Dramiel. It's such a... Such a good ship, even even if you want a solo run. Uh, if you're if you're doing like dual prop, you can go and fight stuff. I just think that since the recent uh, combat interceptor buff, like with their overheat bonuses, I think those are a lot stronger. So like the claw or the Tyrannus or the um, the other one, the melodic the combat melediction. I forget what it's called. And that's some god tier knowledge. Nah, dude, I just I just talk a lot. <laughs> drive active. Graham's my favorite frig. Yeah, I mean it's really good. It's really really good, especially if you're doing like an anti kite like MWD AB scram fit. Maybe a shield extender or something. It's really strong. If you um, if you jump into my pub chat, Caesar, you should link me a fit that you use of your dram. It's cool. It's just uh, one sec. I'll type it in. Jump in there and like link me a fit, and I'll have a level look see see how you like to fly it. Wait, someone stole your video's exit? How can you be bad at exploits? Super basic. Ah, I think it's just a matter of like, if you if you enjoy something, you get better at it. Some people just don't enjoy uh, exploration, right? And so they never try to get better at it. And plus, Caesar's just a super low. What the heck? Dude, I've been I've been debated. Okay, loot all. All of that, all of that nothing. 
At least these things are next to each other, right? Let's have a look at this fit. Oh, artilleries. Artillery, warp disruptor, cat booster, sensor booster, armor repair, nano, hyperspatials. That's very interesting. I would just be afraid of like not having too much DPS. Like you have like all right tank, but you'd want to swap this out for like an Ansel or something. That has a shiny tackle for long points last time. I, I enjoy the RD tram. I think like, yeah. I don't actually have any good fits for RD Dram. But yeah, I think like maybe hyperspatial so you don't need you could probably swap them out for attack but this is solid i like to see you get kills in it yeah dude well someone re-uploaded it to billy billy just translated it ah okay did they give you credit though that's the question it's hyper for catching things oh, okay that makes sense that makes sense you're probably like leading a, like scouting for a gang with that right caesar Oh no. We'll start, but we, we, we win those. Yeah, Kiki's. Oh, okay. I haven't done it in a bit though. Been busy, yeah. Life life does that sometimes. You know. But Eve, Eve is always there, hopefully. Now, they didn't link my YouTube, but at least my Eve name is in the video. Okay. Them gangster gangs of Veil of the Silent. Yeah. That is actually the hood, to be honest. I think my uh, court mates are killing a Varger in Nullsec right now. And I'm, I'm out here opening space cans of uh, Zero Isk. Vale is scary now that we're not flying with frat. Yeah, Vale probably has like the strongest um, response force of any Nullsec group at the moment, and it's terrifying to go up against. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do for content sometimes. Oh, we should have done this first. Gotta watch out for supers and 20 plus blobs. Yep, yep. Meanwhile, you're doing honest space work. Exactly. I'm keeping the space clean, dude. I'm a space janitor. Oh, let's go. We did meme on Rosemary the other day. Not me, but my associates. 15 bill authoress. What the heck? Rosemary is crazy. Like, Rosemary is one of the scariest individuals that you can ever see in EVE. If you're on good with that person, good luck to you. Oh, I suck at this game. I think it's there, right? Yeah, it is. Hey, I don't have enough to break it, so I need to... Okay, that's going to screw me, I think. Double restoration nodes. Does it restore that thing? Okay, no, it doesn't. Ripple restoration nodes. Fuck me, dude. Okay, I quit that. Sarah, do you fly with corp or solo? I do both. I do both. Um, so my corp is like... 
uh, very good at nano gang and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we also do like a little bit of brawling and now that we have a wormhole, we'll be um, doing a lot more brawling. But um, most of the time, I do solo. So I like to fly slicers and kite cruisers, like null sprays and that kind of stuff. But I keep it fairly chill. I don't usually do a lot of exploration like this, but I figured I'd have some fun. Who is Rosemary? Uh, Rosemary M is kind of one of the... Uh, I don't think they're an FC, but they are... They are one of the like leading people when it comes to response fleets in Fraternity. I think, at least. I could be wrong. But yeah, they're very good, and they fly extremely expensive ships. Uh, so when you see... Rosemary on grid, it's usually in like a 5-6 bill Vargas or Nightmare or even a Varga or something. Yeah, it's not a great time. I think I lose this one again, actually. If I can't get any things. Oh, okay. There we go. I got lucky there. They barely caught him, fed some Lokis, but it didn't matter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's worth it, right? If you if you feed a little bit for one of his ships, because they're worth so much. And how is the uh, loot fairy? I want to fly a shuttle with 1400 millimeter howards on it. CC, please. Uh, yeah, CCP is nerfing your playstyle, alien. Isn't Rosemary the one with the 20, 30 billisk nightmare? Yeah, I think um, there's a video of Amelia catching and killing his nightmare with, uh, I think, their blops plus a nightmare. But yeah, his nightmare goes like 3.5 kilometers a second or something. It's terrifying. It's some, that's like the person, if you see them in local while you're in an ESS, you kind of just leave. Let's have a look at this kill. Oh yeah, that's... That's a lot of abyssals, dude. And Fortec H as well? You guys are crazy. Okay, we got a 30-year sentence. <laughs> feels bad, feels bad. Yeah, I think my guys just, they might have just killed a, a, a Varger without me being there. Dude, I suck. Why, why is this luck? Or like two to three build per abyssal, honestly, more for the MWD likely. Yeah, yeah. Are these, these, uh, that guy is specifically like, they're so rich. So like they just they can just spend so much on their vessels. I'm screwed for this one. I get off and all the fun happens. Yeah, dude, you're missing out. <laughs> you gotta just keep rage rolling. No no time for sleep. I'm screwed, I'm screwed. Oh, maybe not. I might be lucky here. Oh yeah, Bob does love me. I 
How much have I made so far? I've made like 20 or 30 mil. So that's enough for one slicer for 17 hours of work. The other one's a combat site, so we just keep going. I like how, like, I think it's kind of funny how the pacifier wings, like, droop down when it's warping. It looks sad. One slicer every 17 hours. Exactly, exactly. That's a big stonks. 18 mil an hour. How long have I been doing? Yeah. Okay. I think I, c I could definitely go out and do more lucrative ISK per hour activities, but I'm not really concerned. I just feel like doing this um, just to relax, you know? Maybe I get some good drops, maybe I don't. I just feel like playing with the loot fairy. You like the slicer? I fitted and tried a bunch, but could I control it too fast? Yeah. Its entire arsenal is just reliant on range and speed. Um... I'll do like I'll do like more slicer streams soon. I just haven't been finding much content in Tama in this time zone at least, so maybe I'll do some earlier and try find some fights. But once you learn how to control it, uh, it's probably the strongest faction frigate in the game. Well, there's only four or eight, whatever, but still, it's very strong. Let's keep going here. I made a VEDMAC with the you know what on it. Yeah, I looked at doing the VEDMAC uh, meme fit, but I think like it just lacks upfront damage and it does so well when you have range on it, right? So it doesn't matter if you get a if you get you know what by the you know what. Hey, what is going on with these Corvettes? Jeta 1v1s in a Corvette? Wow. Looks fun. Duct tape, the trigger of Matar bead. Exactly, exactly. 54 kilometers isn't terrible range, but it's not great. Yeah. Oh, it's not only the range, but the lock time. You need to be able to react in a VEDMAC, right? You're just losing two lows if you put a signal amplifier on it. Drive active. Signal lamp doesn't add that much scan rate, sadly. Ionic is the way to go. And I kill you with friendliness in local. How dear? What are they doing in local? Yeah. Makes me sad to think of a VEDMAC with a Ionic, though, to be honest. <laughs> it's. Such a waste. I think it's just worse, unfortunately, but I don't know. And a purifier, sensor. You don't really need a sensor booster, right? You could. I'd rather just do AB. Or something, I'm not sure. Oh, there's two sites here. What am I doing? Let's make money, lads. We're getting rich. Debo for ECCM script, pretty standard. Uh, like to prevent you getting ECM droned off? Yeah, I suppose so. According to Zeke, sure, sure, sure.
I want to look at this this kill. I think I think they killed something fancy. Boys putting in work. Uh, they didn't kill the Varger in the end. Wormhole. I don't really want to bother with wormholes right now. Bit too much effort scanning down everything. I'd rather just have gates serve to me in overview. The old 650 is the choice of chance. Exactly, exactly. I was working on a uh, Typhoon fleet issue fit. That utilizes uh, dual 650s. And they look fairly strong. That was the one that I shared with you, Vilksen. Good kills. Feels bad that the Varga got away there. Yeah, yeah. I think, like, another Varga ended up turning up. And the one they had tackled, like, didn't have tackle on them. So they made the right call to extract because, I mean, not really in your case, exit, but in most cases, two. Marauders are better than one, you know. Drive active. Thank you for streaming. No worries, Hobo Anderson. You're always welcome to hang out, dude. Always painful letting a Marauder go, even if that's the right call. Yeah. Now these, uh, my court mates, they have pretty level heads when it comes to disengaging, so. They know, like, kind of what they can handle and what they can't handle. Even if it means not getting the juiciest of kills, but... It's all in good fun, right? The more you don't lose your ships, the less ships you have to buy. I think is how the math works, so... End up being quite isk efficient. Devon and local, okay. There is a f this funny little alliance in pure blind called Mortars Angels, and they have beef with goons. They've been known to drop tackle on a titan just to go kill the one goon that's just entered the system. That's dedication, yeah. Honestly, those uh, just those 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 groups in general, especially like the Garistas, I think they have something out for me as well. Because whenever I come in and start fighting fraternity, they tend to switch their tackle to me. Not sure what they have against me. Anything out in this system? Who are these guys? 
Sigma Grand Set. Interesting name. On that side. The nebulas do look a bit nicer, though, I will admit. Oh, they changed the, the buttons. I didn't even see that before. Slightly more m modern, I guess. Love the reflections too. Good patch. Yeah, I think it's it's nice. A lot more depth to it, you know. Have a look. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Get, let's get to a ping off this gate. And a Rex Sino Jammer. So we're getting close to goons, I think. Try to be careful. Might actually um, avoid GE if I can. Oh, that makes it a lot longer. Now we'll just go through. How do I find my avoidance list? There we go. I recognize the Sigma Grand Set guys. They don't mess around when it comes to ESS response. Ooh. Is that an Al Sabre? What's going on here? I just had plus 10, plus 12. Slasher, Kikimura, Bedmac, or Diva. Oh, like a full Triglavian, Triglavian group. They're killing the Sigma Saber. Interesting. What group is this? Celestial Empire. Okay, so they don't fly together. That's weird. Let's have a look. What is going on here? I have no idea what's going on here. It looks like what seems to be a nano gang, but there's so many of them. How could that be a nano gang, right? A bubble bar? Yeah, I thought so. I thought so. A group bubble bar. Or maybe the the celestial guys are running away from the sigma guys. They're burning out of the bubble and chasing them now. Nano blob, exactly, exactly. Two nano blobs, a vagabond one and a vedmag one. Very interesting. Scimitars and vagabonds. What a fleet. It's a bit of a spicy gate to jump through right now, isn't it? 48 in local, potentially bubblers on the other side. Fleet of Vagas, this is not going to end well for the Vedmax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the best damage type to be uh, shooting at them. Oh, I wish I had a nullifier. I would totally walk to where they're going and, and watch the fight. I think 
I'm gonna let my curiosity take over. I'm gonna go see if they're fighting. It's one of those planets, so I'm gonna warp to a ping over here first, and then I'll warp over. I think it was this one, the bottom one. Warp drive active. Okay, in before decloaked and dead. Oh, they're not doing anything. That's disappointing. Oh well. Warp drive active. Probably solo this vagabond in my frigate, right? Buffer vagas have stupid levels of tank. Yeah, yeah. Gotta love a nano blob, right? Forty-eight in local. Oh, there's even more. What the heck is going on? These guys are all tethered, right? Grab the scrap if I can run up to a titan and punch it in the face. I sure would. I sure would. I don't doubt it. Whether he uh, whether he feels the punch is is a different question, but I would definitely punch it. I just get did I nearly just get stream sniped just now? What is going on? Certainly, I was cloaked, right? And we run away and hide. No, no, no. We orbit 500 and we don't do any damage, but... Okay, these guys are about to fight. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pace out, to be honest. I can't be bothered watching Nullsakers Nullsake each other. I'm just gonna jump on through. Can't really kill a stabber, but... Or a flying catcher, or a heretic, to be honest. I wish I could. Let's just go. Warp drive active. Nell sack each other? Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. These guys haven't jumped after me. I probably got a scout on this side. Just burn off. Warp drive active. That was interesting. It's a mating ritual of sort. Gotta kind of think thirty-two times around to rouse the opponent fleet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a dance. Just the EFC, the, the FCs, just, uh, just locking eyes with each other from across the grid. Flycatcher here somewhere. SG, that was Sigma, right? Is he on this gate here? He is. Do I load EMP and try him? Oh, Christ. Too much mayo. Oh, that's terrible news. If it's a rocket, 
flycatcher. I won't be able to kill it, but I can disengage from it. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try it. Let's just set my keep at range early to um, seven kilometers. Maybe I'll I'll load EMP early. I'll get off grid and load EMP, and now I'll come back. Uh, EMP. Right over here. I should have like 160 DPS. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not the best, but we'll see. We'll see. Maybe he's dual boxing and he won't know. We overheat this. Oh, I just plus six, plus seven. Oh, that's their whole gang. Yeah, I'm just leaving. I'm leaving. That was close. Now that their gang's coming back, we can't really risk taking that fight. active. Oh my goodness. I looked up at your killbird and got all excited. Maybe he's even stream sniping, who knows? I think the best way is just to not look at him so he doesn't really know where I am. You're ruining the beautiful skybox here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was really close. Yeah, that was extremely close. I could have gotten away, but I was very suspicious. Oh well. I didn't expect them to turn around there. Did they bring a 20-man Vagabond fleet for a little old me? Surely not. Is this the flycatcher pilot? No. Makes it slightly more questionable as of, as whether to, whether or not I go through GE tack on my way to my way to this great place. I could always just signal a uh, noise filament again and see if I can get a better better path. Because how far out am I? I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a noise filament. I'm gonna reduce my risk a little bit because that was a little bit spooky. Are my Paragon Falls? Oh, Nidhogger? I'm gonna go tackle a Nidhogger. Early Bay Horde. What am I doing? 
This new window is kind of messing me up. I think he ran away from me. We had a response flight into an ESS that we couldn't handle in our harbs. I ended up cloaking, but the whole gang burned straight at me, and like seven Vaga Vedmax were swarming around me within like 20 to 10 kilometers. Yeah, that's scary, dude. Back when, um, pretty sure they can't do it now, but like back when drone, active drone models could decloak you. Could decloak you? Sorry, I've got the hiccups. Um, it would get super scary because if you were if you were decloaked on a gate, then you could um, or you, if you were cloaked on a gate, they could assign all their drones to a scepter and then just like zoom around with like thirty drones chasing them, and it was so terrible. Drones don't decloak anymore. Uh, not active drones, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they, they made a change like last year, I think it was, that active drone models can't, but um, inactive models can. It was something to do with gate camping. I, I'm not sure if it was one or the other, but they definitely changed something. They did, they did something. Don't trust my words on it, though. I think I killed a Loki with uh, you and the others once, Vilk, because um, my Magus had drones out and I... Ax like a, a Loki like accidentally got decloaked by them. It was like a dock workers one. Or a yeah. And we killed him with the heck I yeah, you'll have you'll have to verify it. Don't just don't just take me on my word. I I do talk a uh, copious amounts of garbage. Okay, maybe I'll like I'll take a wormhole here, because I don't think Paragon is very good place to do any exploration. I think you can only get, like, drone skins here or something. It's silly when they jet and send 300 drones at gates. Yeah, like Krillia and stuff. I remember jumping through in my blockade runner and being, like, 3k from drones. and It sucked. I've been decloaked from a rat shooting a missile at some other dude and it flew next to you. Wow, that's annoying. Let's just burn here. Maybe we just go into like a, a venal agrista space or something. It's like decent scanning, right? Let me have a look. I'm in Paragon Falls 6-1 TC. Go M two O M T O. I've been uh, getting decloaked by moons and planets, and what? Wait, really? Is that possible? That sounds crazy, dude. Warp drive active. That's insane. What a mechanic to put in the game. You're just like, yeah, warping through a planet. No, it won't. It won't destroy your ship instantaneously like you think. It just decloaks you. Doesn't kill you, it just it it just inconveniences you. Yo, what's up Art? How you doing dude? Warp drive active. 
might be disappointed in me, dude. I'm doing a PVE stream instead of uh, instead of whelping today. So Pyra made negative negative two hundred mil. Now I'm trying to trying to do a bit of exploration, taking it easy, um, and maybe do a bit of hunting if opportunity presents itself. I was just in like goon space, kind of. But, like, it got a lot busier than I was hoping it would. And I nearly engaged a flycatcher. <laughs> I've been doing the air career stuff. Yeah, I, um... I've been, like, passively doing it. Oh, 75k and a reward bundle. Let's go. I would like to get the SP from it, so... I think this stuff kind of helps, right? Scanning wormholes and stuff. Good skill points to be made. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going for. That's what I'm going for. Not too much stuff where I am right now. But... Got to drive. Hope you get bank eskies and or good fights. Thank you very much, dude. It's cool hanging out. Safe travels, man. Six hundred K skill points? Yeah, that's a lot. I thought it was only like three hundred K or something, but that sounds great. Self drive active. Yeah, I'm just out in a, in a pacifier. I've heard 600k and 750k. I honestly don't know which is correct, but good either way. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna like. Uh, I'll just get them as they as they unlock, and I probably won't keep count, so I won't be a reliable source of information for that. But <laughs> it's a good thing nonetheless, right? Maybe if I make it floating instead, that's a bit better. I really like the full screen windows. He doesn't sleep. No wonder he's so good at Eve. Oh, jeez, alien. This one would be bubbled, right? No one bubbles here. I'm actually gonna warp to it. I'm gonna warp to a ping. Cause you never know. There are some dudes that like they camp like the most backwater non pipes in existence. That's how they get you. Prospect called Tackle Prospect. Okay. See here? He's probably tethered, but I won't even be able to tell if he's tethered or not. Five in there. And he's stalking. Okay. Let's just jump. Self drive active. Very quiet here. Go hard or go home. Oh, wait, I'm already home. Are you? <laughs> oh, wait, wrong game. What am I doing? Self drive active.
What do you think about the uh, the new UI, UI art? Let me see, where do I want to go? Mm. Maybe Declan. I don't really want to go into tribute, but I could potentially find a kill there or something, right? But I'm not a big fan of response fleets. Maybe Declan, and then like Fate or Pure Blend. Let's go here. Needing another stabber? Good luck, good luck. Posts if you get any dank frags. Yeah, dude, do it. Have a good evening. Yo, thank you, Soja Baited. I'll catch you later, dude. I'll do some slicer PvP next time you're on, hopefully. And, uh, show you the power of it, maybe. Maybe I'll just feed a bunch. I don't actually know how, like, profitable Garista's sites are. You should probably just, like, only do Explo when there's, like, event sites, but... This is fine. Two Lokis. Interesting. And that one newt followed me. Gerist is probably second best after Sancho. Or on par, not really an explorer. Yeah, yeah, I think it's second. Oh, it's a prospect. Where are they going? To the sun? Do I tackle a prospect? Hell yeah. I wonder how tanky prospects are, to be honest. I, don't, I have no idea. Ah, he cloaked and warped as well. Oh well. Yes. Align, decloak, and drop these. I can warp off. Drive active. A wormhole. Okay. I'll actually jump into this wormhole and see if there's any connect any good connections or anything.
This stone might be huntable. Someone keeps ringing the reserve bank bell and veil. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Like, the last three times I've been there, they've done it as well. This one's already been cherry picked. Feels bad. Keep moving. Drive active. I think like if I really want to get like the lucrative sites early, I have to do this after downtime. Maybe. I think that's how it works. That's oh, just an Imicus. There's an Imicus here. I can kill an Imicus, potentially, if I try very, very hard. I love the wing animation on the pacifier. Yeah, it's so cool. Eve Union. Okay. Where is this guy? I keep changing the wrong stat. That just means it's within one, right? Where am I? Yo, SW Demon, thank you for the follow, dude. Can I pause trash, maybe? The Claren belts with Anemicus. I got no clue. I'm just going to keep going. Oh, it even does the animation, like, in your gate jump. That's interesting. Oh, Imicus. It's gone that way. Oh, there's, like, nine people in here. Gotta be careful. Pretty sure a lot of these systems are pipes. This one isn't, though, so it should be fine. We'll see, we'll see. I don't know if I can necessarily catch this guy, but if he tries to run his site without getting permission, he's going to die. He already jumped out. Mancha incursion. Now Loki. Drive Interesting. What would a Loki be doing?
I get a good day cloak, I'll scram him, but I'm pretty sure his a line time is faster than I can walk. Unless he makes a mistake or bumps. There might even just be rats on the gate here. No. Instigate them to fight, eject one ammo, and name the container the disrespect can. Yeah, yeah, I'll get them to fight over it. That's a good idea. I'm sure this guy's after my 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 juicy exploration loot. Uh, I warp faster than a bow, so I don't really get away. Wonder if he thinks I'm chasing him, because I'm definitely not. We went to this planet, let's see. We overheat everything. Clean overview. He went at 50. Yeah, 50. He can't actually cloak there. Might have a a thing though. A stab. Oh there he goes. Oh. Such good PvP. Now this other guy was the Loki, so let me cloak up here. Let's check the kill mail. See how much loot he had in him. Oh, he had actually quite a bit. Okay, let's loot that quickly. By quickly, I mean, I mean slowly. Oh, I finally got PvP. It only took... It only took two hours. Exploring other people's exploration loot, I like your style. Yeah, exactly. That's the best way to explore. Why why run all these sites if you can just get someone else to run them for you, right? Now we just loot this and that's op success. There Alba, that's the that's the prospect tune from before. We gotta look at this. I don't think I actually brought any pace and I accidentally overheated my uh, prop a bit too much. How old is the pilot, the E-Uni guy? Uh, let's see, let's see. Let me start this up and then we'll figure it out. His name is Yeeting Yeet. Oh, that's Emicus, sorry. Five months in E-Uni, so he's like six months or something. Didn't bring pace, but has an answer. Oh, I must have pace then. Surely, surely. 
Yeah, I have got 92. Hell yeah. Let's pull up next to the sun and rip some heat while I scan. I forgot I had an Ansel rep. Thank you for reminding me. Five months is fair game. Yeah, yeah. It's only an Emicus as well. It's not like he's losing much. And like dying is all part of the part of the fun, right? Hang out next to the sun. Do a bit of scanning. This means that six here, right? Earn it. This one's cherry picked as well, maybe? No, it's not. I was just curious if it was like a week year old, a week old turn in uni, I'd get send him a new ship. Yeah, yeah, I would too, to be honest. Send him a couple mil for his troubles. Drive active. Hey, thanks for the thanks for the fine work. You did well collecting all this loot for 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 me. Why am I... These usually yellow. These seem very yellow to me. I'm not sure why. Is it just because of the sun? This guy is scanning as well. I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna leave this, and I'm gonna perch up. And we'll see if he... what he's in. Here's your 10% cut of what you previously owned. Enjoy. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty much an employee at that rate, right? Yeah, I think that's... Because I pulled mine in. And there weren't any on scan earlier. So that's another set. Let me check this guy's kill board really quickly. Little sheep. Doesn't seem like he does much exploration, but I'm not sure with the uh, with the number of um, scan probes on scan. Yeah, because there's sixteen on scan. I've definitely pulled mine, right? Yeah, yeah. We'll just wait for a bit and then I'll run it. I don't necessarily want to be surprised by... I mean, I could fight an Astero, depending on the fit. But if, like, a Loki or something decloaks, I feel like I'll be slow off the jump. Ah, he's gone. My bad, my bad. My attention span is getting worse by the day. Okay. How much loot do I actually have now? 69 mil. Nice.
what happens when I try that damn mini game so focused on the puzzle and the cloaky loki gets me. Yeah, yeah. It used to happen to me as well, but eventually you grow eyes in the back of your head and it stops happening, you know? At least that's the plan. It's a lot harder in wormholes as well because like if you're um you don't have the ability to watch local spikes. Hills have eyes. I hate wormholes. Yeah, yeah. Now, unless you're like specifically there to PvP, wormholes kind of they're kind of rough. But you'll make a lot of money from like doing gas huffing and that kind of stuff. But yeah, otherwise, can be tough. Can be tough. Six mil though, not bad, not bad. Lord Cal, how you doing? How you doing? The very rare uh, PVE stream you have tuned into. Just figured I'd take it easy today. Oh no. Thirteen mil, let's go. I'm rich. Same here, yeah, yeah. Active. I just figured, you know, I mean, I did get one kill, you know. It's not all. It's not all sunshine and daisies here. I am a. I am an armed mercenary, very incredibly dangerous. But you know, sometimes like focusing completely on PvP is difficult. There aren't too many people around, and when there are, there's too many. But today I'm taking it easy. I might even go cash out soon. Oh, wow. Okay. Seventeen thousand, not bad, not bad. Also doing the um, the air things. Getting a bunch of stuff from these, even if it is very little, it'll pay for ships. Maybe, maybe. It'll probably just pay for for drugs.
That's where the final note is. That's kind of annoying. Oh, never mind. Where is it? That's annoying. Really piling up some loot now. I am almost on the verge of being what could, could be considered a loot fair or a pinata. Would hate to get murdered. I might actually um, depot and swap out the this ligature for a normal relic analyzer because this thing is doing nothing but holding me back. Oh, this is terrible. I think I'm having the worst luck right now. Veil vale slash tribute or snooze fist right now. Yeah, I think um, I heard something about fraternity potentially going to war and pure blind, was it? Um, I actually, I actually lose this, unfortunately. Yeah, I lose this. Uh, so, yeah, you might be able to go to Pure Blind and find some fights, Hulk. Sarah specializes in murders and inquisitions. Oh, dare I meant to say murders and acquisitions. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly, exactly. I'm a businessman, not a pirate. They're respectable folk. Oh my goodness. Checking pain and filamenting again, that's probably the right call. Yost. A lot of fraternity around here. Is exploration worth it? I've been into ratting and mining and a little industry. Yeah, I think like if you if you do it correctly, you can um you can make the most money for the least investment in a decent amount of time. Like for instance, like I think exploration is more of a new bro activity, but I kind of just felt like doing it again. But um you effectively pay the same amount that you would for a venture, for instance, but you can make billions of esk from it for a, like a, a T1 Heron or something or a Imicus. Oh my goodness, I forgot that these were Sancha Rats. I would have fed if, if I, I had points there. I should probably be paying attention. Oh my goodness. 
It's all it's just all RNG. Yeah, kind of. You can actually you can do it in a very intelligent way and make a lot of isk from it. Like when I first started in the game, I made like billions of isk just from like asteros and herons and stuff. And it costs so little to get into that you know, it's it's great return. It's just a little spooky sometimes when other people are doing it as well and hunting you. But like the most effective ones that you can do, you basically, you go into Sancho's space and you cherry pick every single can with a cargo scanner. Tried it a couple of times, but haven't really gotten into it. Yeah, um, how many, how many tunes are you running, Slushy? Like just, if you're just running one, then it's definitely worth it. But if you're like, if you've got like two or three characters and you're doing mining, might not be as worth it, you know, in the long run. But it's, uh, at the end of the day, it's just another way to make make a bit of isk, right? See, these data sites are not worth running. Just the relics. Lord Cal, thank you for the follow, dude. For some reason, I thought you were following earlier. Maybe it, uh, maybe it unfollowed on your account or something. I'm not sure. Maybe that was the other Cal. I've got three that are into mining, but my main is into a little bit of everything. That's a good. That's a good setup to have. But yeah, I think like. Unless there is an event going, I think it's better to just focus on your industry. I think you'll make a lot more in the long run. But maybe do a bit of exploration if you feel like mixing it up sometime. Other cow. I think it's my first view. Oh, okay, maybe I've just seen you in um in other streamers' chats. I've been lurking around. Ishtar scrammed me and bored us, sir. Oh no, did you kill him? Or did you just leave? Ain't nothing here. Let's keep going. I just left. It's so good, right? It's so good. I can't wait to fly them. How long am I away? How far am I away? 10 days. 10 days. Or 11 days. Maybe I'll give another try in the future. Yeah. When, um... It's always nice to, like... If you if you play like after downtime or something, if you go around your local systems as well and just like just check out if there's any good sites in space. I'm not sure like where in like I figure you live in Nelsec, right? But um if you scan down you might you might find a really lucrative site and you can run it and then get a free free fifty mil or something to start your day. And it's always nice. They're combat scanning me on the ESS as per usual. Yeah, dude, yeah. It's always a good time when they do that. Yeah, you're a null. Yeah, especially because like maybe it might get a little bit harder for you to mine if, if the wars really pick up. And yeah, you might need a little bit to supplement your income as they say. But um exploration gets really good during the event sites. So I would definitely recommend doing it when the events are out, because you can get good skins and boosters and all that kind of stuff and a lot of stuff worth selling no one in here like I personally don't do too much exploration I usually just pvp but it's a pretty chill activity, you know. You don't need to put too much effort in. I'm nearly out of space in my ship, actually. Wow. Yeah. There's been more newts in system lately, so I've just resorted to ratting. Yeah, yeah. Where do you roam? 
Uh, I roam everywhere, dude. So, um... I mean, with exception to wormholes, I think. I do a lot of, like, low-sec PvP, solo. Or if I'm with my corp, we'll do, like, small gang null-sec stuff. And just, like, like nano cruisers and all that. But I fly, like, a bunch of different ships uh, just for fun. Whether it's... I like, I like flying scepters and I like flying... Um, Cerberuses and that kind of stuff. First Ishtar fit. Let me have a look. Let me have a look. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's bait as heck. Changshi. Yeah, those guys are good. Wait, what? Armor and shield reps. But he has no capacitor. Oh, he's full NOS fit. Okay. That's ridiculous. Oh, what a ridiculous fit. I put a web on there instead of your, uh, instead of the shield amplifier. But that's, yeah, that's a very toxic fit. <laughs> Massive armor buffer. Yeah, you're not breaking through that with a stabber anytime soon. See, good thing you, uh, good thing you brought the, the special stabber. Otherwise, that would have been that would have been coffins for you, dude. Let's have a look. Go for the hard ones first, get them out the way. Yeah, they're camping me with sabers and a paladin now. Dude, kill their sabers and leave. Get the heck out of there. Paladin shot me from 250 kilometers. Feels bad. like it's in here or something. Oh, I messed up. I messed up. Yeah, I reckon you could, you could, you could, you could try to kill a, a paladin that shoots you at 250 Vilk, I believe in you. It's a beam paladin, right? You just get under its guns and, and pray. Hope that it doesn't fit tank, or maybe it just fits a single Ancil booster. Or Ancil uh, shield ripper, uh, armor ripper, sorry. And you win. You'll be the first dude in history to solo a paladin with a stabber. Imagine. The headlines, dude. They would definitely make a Kotaku uh, article about you. Cloud ring is gorgeous and quiet at the moment. Nice. What do you, what do you think of the uh, 
the recent UI updates to the um to the nebulas. That's pretty good, right? Never mind gate camps. Oof. Feels bad. I love it. Yeah, it's really cool. It's unfortunate they broke a couple other things, but you gotta break a couple omelets to make an egg, right? I'm all good cruising in a shuttle. Oh yeah, that's that's fine then. You'll be safe. 852 isk, a single piece of scrap. Very nice. Hard drive active. Hard drive active. Yeah, I think like, is it like the south, southeast is near where like the Serpentis um, areas are. I'm actually, I'm pretty bad with the with my cardinal directions, but like, yeah, around there, like the green, the big bluey green um, nebula, those are the coolest places in my opinion. I always really liked uh, going around there, even if it's not the most uh, lucrative area for exploration. Maybe my next filament will take me down there, and we can we can gawk at them. Nice, nice. Nothing found. Feels good. This newt is following me in a thrasher trying to catch me, bro. Tell him good luck. Tell him to overheat his warp drives. Maybe kick some rocks. There's no chance a thrasher ever catches a shuttle. Or a luxury yacht? Yeah, yeah. I think they're a, bit, a little less safe now, the luxury yachts, because you don't have built-in nullification. Or do you? Do you still have built-in nullification, or do you have to ha have an active nullifier? Let me see. Yeah, uh... Yeah, you can fit an interdiction nullifier. But it's not built in anymore, so it's a little less safe. Because you can always get caught in during the reactivation time or something if they have a camping saber or something. Drive active. Pretty sure it's active now? Yeah, yeah. Even scepters are no longer really safe for traveling. It's either shuttles or nothing if you really want to move tunes. But it's handy that they're free. You have to activate it. But as long as you fly it correct, you will rarely get caught. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. You get to choose when you want to PvP in that ship, right? I wonder if, like, ever, anyone's ever PvP'd in a yacht. That would be funny. I would do that. Do you need skills to fly one of those, or is it free? Oh, 
great. I think it's free. Okay. Well, that's not too bad then. At least you don't have to train for it, right? To realize I'm nearly at nearly at a hundred followers, dude. Might have to do something special when I hit a hundred. I'll have to think of what though. Yeah. Thinking like either yeet some battleships or maybe organize an MPSI. I'm not sure though. So I feel like at least if I just yeet some battleships i don't have to rely on other people showing up right Tama <laughs> is busy as usual is it i might um Maybe when I'm when I'm finished here, I'll drop by and try kill us, try kill a bunch of stuff. I will eat a battleship with you, bruh. Wow, thank you, dude. I appreciate it. That might be the play. That might be the play. Maybe some, uh, maybe some quirked up tempests, like the one that I just crafted. I'm pretty sure Arch can fly them to perfect skills, so. I have a polarized foon fleet I've been wanting to get blown up. Oh, that's sick. Is it um is it polarized torps or polarized ACs? I think I think you might have mentioned it. It's both, right? It's both. Oh yeah, that's sick. Yeah, that could be fun, dude. Just whelp a bunch of battleships. <laughs> Data site, no thank you. I was actually, um, I was playing around with, uh, Foon Fleet, TIE Fi Fits earlier today. Exit. You'll probably think it's sacrilege when I show it, when I show you, but um, yeah, you'll just have to wait and see. There, there are some crazy fits you can do uh, for brawling in Nullsec space specifically. Hey, you're flying a polarized one, so I'm sure you you'd be willing to fly it. Maybe never really mess with polarized stuff. I know the DPS is the tank, but still, lol. 
yeah, there are some ships that are like, they're still incredibly tanky, even with the reduction you get from polarization. Like, for instance, the Cinnable. If you um, if you put like full tank on it, aside from like the tackle mods and the prop mod, then it's still like tankier than a Caracal or or like another T1 cruiser, and you get a thousand DPS, and it's super fast. So there are good options and there are poor options. Like I think a lot of people think that the polarized Daredevil is really good. When in real reality, it gets kind of whelped by every other ship in the game. Even a even a Punisher kills one. So you just gotta really think very hard about which ones, which which ships you wanna polarize. Polarized Drake Navy is still like fifty to sixty k EHP. Yeah, yeah, and they they project really well because they have um they have a a missile projection bonus. So they just do so well. Same as the Cerberus. You can do um, a polarized projection ham Cerberus and they do so much damage. Polarized DD is scary. I don't know what the ones you've been fighting. Yeah, of course it's scary, but like it's not any scarier than a regular DD, right? Because you turn around and you breathe on it and it dies. I, I suppose I'm kiting most of the time, so I'm not usually scared. But um, whenever I see, like, missed shot from polarized neutron blaster from a DD, I, I primary that thing instantly. And it usually dies fairly fast. Ooh. Yo, look at all those chickens, dude. Let's go. Like I think a uh, I think a Kestrel wins in a fight against a polarized uh, Daredevil. Polar Foon does sound fun though. Are you a uh, you a bit of a PvP -er, slushy? Or what do you usually do? Said you live in Null, but you're passing through Tama. Drive active. Empty systems everywhere. It's nice when you're when you're being a crab like me, but. Sometimes it's nice to at least have a little bit of spookiness. At least this one's not cherry picked, right? I'm slowly getting more involved with PvP, but I'm mostly just a horrible crabber. That's all good, dude. You gotta you gotta start slowly with PvP and Eve. It's not easy. It's not easy. Am I off grid? I'm like very close to being off grid.
Oh, what a terrible start. I'm just finishing up some industry jobs in Jita that I got from LP stores. Might take a two-day Jita vacation, then go back to Delve. Nice. Are you in a... Are you on Goonswarm, perchance? I do, I do most of my living out of Jita, to be honest. Um, and then whenever I want to go take a fight, I just um, take a filament. Seems to be the easiest way to do it nowadays, anyway. Yeah. All good, all good. I think I think goons are the good guys at the moment, so... Good luck, good luck in your war. Uh, which one's better? You gotta lose both ways. Nice. I used to live in Jada, then I moved to Parkvin for a year and a half and decided to go to Delve. Oh, nice. Ooh, 14 mil. Not bad, not bad. What was it like living in, uh, living in Parkvin? Were you in, like, um, Strybog or something, or? Because it seems like that was a good, really good place to make money for a long time. But recently, it's kind of been under contention from a lot of the blocks, right? Had to eat out of pain because they all, oh, because all they did was undock a bait ish turn warp at the sites, then undock a latch with combat. Dude, you should have, uh, should have let the latch warp on top of you and, and slaughtered him, dude. I was in Kyber notes. Oh, okay. Yeah, those are cool people. I haven't really fought against them much because they don't really leave Parkvin too often, do they? I've only been in a couple times, really. I keep forgetting where my ping is, and I keep forgetting which one I called it. It was up somewhere, right? There. Okay, just delete that one. I've been there since day one, other than a couple deployments out to Losec for content once in a while. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think maybe the only time I fought them was when I was um I was moving some carriers out of Nelsec and we just happened to stumble across a group of them. That might have been Strybog as well though. I don't know between all the different uh clades, I guess you'd call them. Seven K, not terrible, not terrible. Wait, actually, it is terrible. What am I talking about? Drive active. How do I get skill points now? Drive active. 
Sim. Well, apparently you can turn off DirectX 12 in your game client. I don't know what that does. Maybe takes away some of the visual bugs that have been happening. No shot. This, I hate this game. I really enjoyed Pokfin, but I didn't like the changes to standings for the gate use. It really made it not worth the grind of standings. Now the meter is to get dual standings with Eden Clement Trig, so you can practically solo the observatory flashpoints for three build ticks. Yeah. I think it was a, it was a bit weird to kind of lock the gates and then completely unlock them like with no kind of in between because just kind of open the floodgates right Oh, this game sucks. I swear. I wish there was a way to, like, kind of guess that cans around you, or that the nodes around you had bad things in them, as well as knowing if they had good things in them. Like Minesweeper instead of, um... Just running into them randomly. Test drive active. What's this? What's this? Different screen. Oh, you killed a goon. Well done, dude. Was he the was he the same one that was on your kill board the other day? That was on your kill the other day. I mean, I landed in a bubble at zero on the ESS, so I didn't have a choice. Yeah. You gotta be careful warping straight to the ESS. They they know that nano gangers like to do it, so two kilometers from the edge is the Hecate Scrams. Yeah, that's rough. Unlucky.
Attrait. Was that in one DQ? Sorry, I didn't I didn't look. I didn't look. Oh, AJI. I don't even know where that is. I don't want like that getting back from an abyssal run to find 35 to 40 horde members sitting on a trace. Oof. Um, you know what's funny? In those situations, the best way to get out, if they haven't, if they don't know what they're doing, you can actually just light another abyssal and jump back in. And you have a higher likelihood of surviving that than, um, and like calling for your friends to come and protect you, right? But if they know what they're doing, the only way to stop someone from jumping back in is to anchor a mobile depot or a mobile tractor unit or whatever next to it. Because you can't, you can't light an abyssal trace next to one of those anchorables. Here we go, 365. Unfortunate. Oh well. Drive active. Interesting, I'll have to try that next time. They're insistent trying to drop on Rockles and got you in the process. Yeah, that feels bad. It's like fairly um fairly scary to try uh run them in a staging system because all it takes is a combat scanner to find you, right? And you don't know that they're trying to find you until it's too late. Oh all my drones. Oh my probes and then let's keep going. I'm still in venal. No. Wasn't even in a staging system. I was in the corpse home system, not one DQ. Either because that's just as bad as a staging system at the moment. Yeah, it's like fairly similar, right? Because um, even though you're not directly in like a well-known system, uh, it might be the case that uh, they can find a Roman gang will find that system via the map, and they'll be like, oh, there's. 20 or so people docked here or 25 people in space here let's go check it out so either way if you're around like a large amount of other players it's easier for you to be found whereas if you're in a if you're in a backwater system by yourself in a deep safe you can run as many as you want and you'll be fine
endurance. Oh, I could fight an endurance. Where would he be? I'll have to get me a daredevil or an Oberpop magnate to make some deep saves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, oh, maybe this guy docked already. Yeah, he docked. What the heck? Sir and the SFI would have lived. Gonna try it next time. Yeah, yeah. It's so much better. It's so much stronger. Just the addition of a, a 10 MN plus a scram gives you so much control over those ram and scram ships. Where am I even going? I'm in Declan now, right? Let's have a look. I kind of want to head down towards uh, Pure Blind. Maybe there'll be some people to shoot. Also the potential of more... Um, Let's go to Fade, D06, yeah. Also the potential of more um, bubble camps, but we can navigate through those. AB would have 100% saved me and would have gotten a kill and gotten off, yeah, yeah. Strongest module in the game, dude, the Afterburner. Not many people believe, but it is true. Drive active. Oh, look at all that free esk. Boom, 450,000 esk richer. I will have gold diggers in no time. Maybe like the play might be just a just a stick around venal for a bit. I don't know, like if there's more chance of me fighting finding PVP in Declan or in in venal, because I could potentially find like a burner AFK off the gate or something. You know, some real some real riveting stuff. I am not sure. Kind of like I'm in the mood to depot a bit of loot as well. Getting a bit heavy. I'm not too concerned just yet. Drive active. What have I got, by the way? Let's stack it up. Are these worth a bit? No, they're not, right? Integrateds are cheap. But the augmented suits are good. Hey Vilk, you're sharing my tech and BSB, dude. What are you doing? How dare you? I thought I'd, I'm not trusting you with any fits ever again. Drive <laughs> Oh, I literally didn't think about it. Sure, sure. You just want to take my glory. Thank you. 
I messed it up. I've just forgotten how to scan. I swear, if I miss one more time, I'm going to self-destruct. Okay, and it's a combat site. Nice, nice. I need to think of some good things to add to my, um... Like, the channel points redemption as well. I think, like, maybe self-destructing a ship will probably be, like... Probably a couple hundred thousand, right? You gotta have that pretty high up there. But then maybe, like, jumping out of the ship for like 30 seconds or something would be a good idea. Not sure. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Let me know. At least until I figure out how to gamble. Yo, Slushy, thank you for the follow, dude. Two kilometers away. Hard ones first again. It's probably too small. Yeah, I messed it up. Time to self-destruct.
Good start, good start. Self drive active. They should really have like a like a isk per hour metric that you can put on your screen. That way I can tell how much how much time I'm wasting. <laughs> I'm getting pretty good at this. Drive active. Maybe they should just have like a CCP held tournament where it's just exploration mini games. I reckon I could win. I, reckon I could totally win. Active. Yo, Mama Luba. Good name and thank you for the follow, dude. I would totally win an exploration, uh, exploration competition, dude. Thunderdome access. I bet, I bet. Oh, what the heck just happened? Why'd it get small? Weird. Yeah, I gotta start challenging people to, uh... Exploration offs. Hackos. Uh, what are those called? What are those things called again? Hackfests or something? Drive 
Flag active. For some reason the um the pacifier, it looks like it looks like the kid from, you know, Karate Kid where he does like the crane kick at the end. Like look at it, look at it. Tell me that's not tell me that's not the crane kick and he's just about to he's just about to win the tournament. I haven't seen that movie in forever. Yeah, yeah. I think they recently like made a a Netflix adaptation for it, right? But it's about the bad guy. The Cobra Kai or something. Not sure if it's any good. I haven't actually seen it. But I remember like watching a YouTube video about um a karate kid a while back. How it turns like if you look at the like series of events in the show, it's like actually the main protagonist is kind of a, is kind of the bad guy. Like he he turns up in town, he just steals the steals the guy's girlfriend right off the bat. Pretty sure he like breaks his car or something. I don't remember what channel it was on though, but that was quite funny to watch. Oh no. I feel like I could have been killed so easily so many times here. Because I'm just not paying enough attention to my local or my D scan. I'm kind of glad I'm not doing this in wormholes. Been like 10 to 15 minutes since I've seen it, yeah. Oh, 10 to 15 years, yeah, yeah. Old movie, very old movie. 164,000, let's go. Easy money. Carbon is the best loot. Yeah, yeah. How much carbon do I have now? Oh. Where is it? I've got 16, dude. I might actually put up an auction for this carbon stack. 
you know, it's pretty pretty valuable. I might put up an auction for it when I get back to Jita. I'm sure I'm sure I'm sure some people really want to get their hands on it. Uh let's scan these down as well. I didn't even launch my probes. Okay, I don't know how engaging this gameplay is, but I'm actually having a lot of fun. Surprisingly, I thought I would get bored instantly, but... This kind of quells the ADHD, you know? Oh, what am I doing? Trying to do some market PvP since I'm in Cheeto. Nice, nice. It's time to invest in, uh... Time to invest in Tech 2 hulls. Why did I scan on 8? Really messing up here. But yeah, it's cool to hang out while... Do these kind of tedious, boring things. My mouse scroll is not smooth at all. I'm trying to film some nice B-roll. Let's do this. Oh, it's a data site. Other data sign. Gross. Let's go. The ships look so good when you like change your camera to a uh, like full slow inertia, but it's so bad for PvP. It's so bad. I kind of wish I had like a toggle button. 
I could jump between both, but can't have everything. Rat ships look kind of cool when they're not just bright red triangles of death. Ishtar. Can I kill an Ishtar? Probably not. Let's see, let's see. Than one. Warp drive active. Hey, maybe we just lose it all here. What do we? Uh, AMP should be fine. If the rats start shooting me. It'll be a problem. We can AB. He's already leaving. Yeah, he's gone. Well, at least we asserted dominance. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was definitely um, I was definitely trying to take that fight. I, in all honesty, I probably just, I probably like orbit him for like maybe 30 seconds, maybe 40 seconds if we're lucky. And then I get alpha by his heavy drones combined with the uh, rat DPS. As is the, as is the way of Eve. CP TAC US. What a name. What a name. a gate ping here. I don't really want to warp gate to gate in a pipe system like this. Especially when they're so far apart. You never know. Falcon. And he's moving. Gotta get some sleep. Have yourself a good evening. Hopefully the RNG isn't too bad. Thank you, dude. Catch you later. Sleep well. Thanks for hanging out. I was thinking, like, he might just leave the ship running off the edge and I'd kill him, but uh, he's a bit he's a bit too clever, if you ask me.
12 in here. Ooh. Okay, I think I'm starting to get close to like Volta staging. So I've got to be careful. But there's also the potential, like, as I get closer to a staging, the ship is, like, built for killing scepters and stuff, right? Oh, there's a Tristan. What's a Tristan doing in Melsec? Huh? Where the heck? Get into pure blind from here, which is nice. I like pure blind. There might be some think interesting things there as well. So let's go there. I'll probably head back towards um, Empire Space as well. So let's just warp there. Warp and pray, as you do. These guys all falter as well. Boundary logs, okay. The Sancha incursion again? Interesting. Drive active. Let's look at where I am. I think we just want to head back towards Jader at this point, maybe. Maybe I'll try to get a fight and then I might wrap things up and raid out.
Where's the exit system? It's so hard to read this map, dude. Let's just keep yoloing it until I figure out where I'm going. AC tech. Good thing I have a cloak or else these things might actually just kill me. I forgot about the cloak stabilization thing. I wonder if that even affected very much. Hard drive active. More bubbles. Eesh. The rats try to decloak you. Hard drive active. Group is that? World Security Treaty Alliance. The trolls trying to get people killed by the the gate rats. How dare they? We form blob. What a good name. I don't know if those guys are like part of like Volta proper. Are they like the feeder alliance for Volta? I hope that Volta does well in the upcoming war between them and Frat, if that's a real thing. I really dislike a. Uh, 
trying to find fights in France space, but finding fights in Volta and Brave space is good. It's a good time. Who wants this Varger? Propless cap battery, heavy cap booster. Yeah, that's nice, dude. Expanded cargo hold for extra cap boosters. Solid. Drive active. I always wonder with those if you like if you bring a slip near for links or if you bring like a like a uh, cap capstick gnosis to bring you extra capsticks after a while because on one hand you bring you get better links with the slip but on the other hand you get extra cap boosters right fill them up with cap boosters as well yeah but how many can you actually get in a slip like 10 maybe Lynx is just insane to hold tank. Yeah, that makes sense. Better capacitor usage for the shield boost. That makes sense as well, I suppose. And like, um, like better resists I mean you have to the like, uh, shield boost less. Standard container plus one more outside the container. Okay, that's not terrible. It's just kind of crazy how many the uh, the gnosis can actually hold. But you just get less efficiency, right? It's a weird trade-off. Plus a bit of drone DPS, maybe. But you might. I think the the gnosis or the slipnir dies first, right? So. I've had a lot of people. I've had people target the jet cannon. Instant loss of value. Yeah, that's true. Makes sense. It's very clever of them. Not a lot of people catch on to jet canning, but when they do, it's at the worst time, right? Clip has lasted quite long, pretty often. Do you put uh do you put weapons in the higher? Do you just focus fully on tank and mitigation and stuff? Run a 100 MN with the cap stable 2x large shield booster can be pretty tanky. Just tank and mitigation, don't bother with DPS. Yeah, that makes sense. If only there was like a a shield drone command ship. That would be so nice. 100 MN slip sounds sick. Yeah, it's just a it's just a Lynx one though that he's talking about. But 100 MN slip sounds sick in general, right? Oh, 
Hundred M Kane is legit. Yeah, I can imagine that. But no tank, yeah. I'm not a huge fan of the um battle cruisers in general for hundred MN most of the time. Versus like stronger like faction cruisers or or tech three cruisers. Like the Drekovac's nice for hundred MN, like really really good actually. They work where I live. Of course they do. You live in low sec, dude. Or they did when there was actually content. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing with low sec, right? You just ha kind of have ebbs and flows of content. It's never really sustainable. Whereas picking on crabbers and stealing their money is always sustainable. Take you with their attack, let me and get slaughtered. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Even when I was just like running the smurf over there. Okay, that was real lame. These cherry picked? No, they're good to go. That's why I do both. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course you do, of course you do. What do you mean I can't warp to there? I'm 150 away. What is this, CC please? 149. Warp drive active. These guys look like bots, but maybe they decloak a Loki on me, so I've got to be careful. I do wonder if, like, decloaking a bomber on an explorer is even better. I would be worried, because, like, explorer can kill a bomber quite fast. screwed here. There, yeah.
Nice. All that work for 3,000 esque. Feels good. Feels good. Feels good. Dactics. What the heck is this? This is... It's rigged, dude. This game is rigged. I'm so confused. I'm so confused by this game. What is this? I don't want to clip that. Really two, two node exploration site. And the first one... That was, that was confusing, dude. That was very confusing. I love the fact that, like, when I turn up in system to start doing some exploration, the Ishtars are just like, no, we're docking up. We are. We don't want anything to do with this. We are intimidated. And we do not want you anywhere near us. Even though I'm just in a frigate, right? This one. Lucky. Yeah, I ought to do this in Sancho's space where I actually have a path that doesn't go through GE Tac. Because I'm pretty sure that's where all the proper... That's where all the juicy explorers are anyway, the ones that I can hunt. That's also where the Russians live, so... Can get a bit dodgy. One of the first times I went to Stain, I went in the Stratios. Like, a hundred of men one. I spent a lot of money on. And I jumped through a gate with my other friend who was also in Astradios, and it was like two Vigilance, and I think it was a Devoter or a Broadsword. Either way, we were stuck on the gate, cloaked, while these, like, several web ships burned towards us, and it didn't end up very well for us. It's probably my first big loss.
drive active. Now we leave and let these guys go back to their ratting. Yeah, I think maybe once I pick up a once I pick up a Loki and I can do PvE VP VP VE streams with that. Maybe a bit more lucrative and a bit a bit better. Malediction. Interesting. I wonder if he'll try to tackle me. Elite Loki PvP. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly, exactly. How many assistants? Just him. Let's burn off the gate here and see if he tries to tackle me. No, he does not want the smoke. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I like. I'm thinking. I go to Angel Space and I try to run. Uh, whatever, whatever sites give you the just X, extra large shield booster. The DEDs, right? I'll just figure out how to run those, and then I'll do those and steal ESSs, and that's it. I think that'll. I think that'll maybe be good content. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Attack too. Okay, we're getting into dangerous space here. But we might get fed. Might get fed. More than Anemicus, at least. How do I even, how do I even get the skill points? Do I have to, like, redeem this thing? Is that what I have to do? Wow, I've done all the, the hacking. Advanced hacking. Hack 20 and null sec, hack 20 and low sec. Who hacks in low sec? This is just for scanning wormholes. Interesting. Warp drive active. What else is there? Advanced navigation. Visit a null sec system in five different regions. Visit a high sec in five different regions. Visit a low sec in five different regions. I'm nearly at 100 Stargate jumps since today. Enter a comp. I haven't entered any combat sites. Maybe it's just like because I warped to a green site, maybe? Wow. GTAC M is even close. Is like there's no one here. I don't know if my local's broken or what. But I feel like there should be more brave members hanging about here. <clears throat> Maybe there's some something going on at EC Tech.
And I guess we're back in high sec now. Not bad, not bad. Probably head back to Jeta, and then I might raid the old pal uh, Art Gravy. So I'm sure most of you are already in his chat, right? Wow, free at last. No more bubbles. And I have successfully paid off the mod that I bought at the start of this room. <laughs> and I'll probably sell it this time as well, because I really don't like this. The ligature? Yeah, it's not good. Not good at all. How do you have a hundred million isk mod that is a hundred million times worse than a hundred thousand isk mod? Feels bad. Both your chats also playing a game with the boys. What game you playing, dude? Among Us. I'm surprised you can like uh, you can manage to have so many things going on and still pay attention to all of it. That is much beyond me. I can only. ARAMs on League? Nice, nice. I haven't actually played much League before. Seems like fun, but it's just like... Seems like a lot to learn. Like, before even thinking about the meta and stuff, you have to just get down the base mechanics. and Oh, dude, I can't be bothered learning another game. ARAMs are the only real mode I like. Non-stop action, not try hard, really casual. Okay. That doesn't sound too bad then. Like, the only real try hard game that I play is maybe like Valorant or something. Like, when I play that, I'm sweating. Otherwise, I don't enjoy it. And I say that, but I only just hit gold. But I only started recently. I'll be, uh, I'll be, I'll be radiant in no time.
I kind of wish there was a way to play Eve, like, reliably without the UI. Because it looks so much nicer <laughs> with no UI. It's ridiculous. I just couldn't even comprehend how you would do it. Like, no box? No box of things to click on? Information is way too powerful to ignore. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Information is everything in this game. So you kind of need it all. You don't need that anymore. Whoa, why did it do that? Put that up there. Maybe just like making it as minimal as possible. I don't know. It's like as nice as Le Eve looks like close in, it's just the least cinematic game ever when you zoom out. And you kind of have to play zoomed out if you're if you're a good pilot, right? Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Not bad, not bad. I didn't make very much, but I don't know. I kind of enjoyed that. I probably won't do these kind of streams very often, but it was enjoyable for me nonetheless, and it was cool hanging out. I'm going to hand you all over to Art Gravy. It was probably doing some kind of, some kind of wrecking of other people's ships. That was great hanging out, dude. I'll probably, um, I'll try to do some PvP maybe tomorrow. And then, hopefully, I'll try to, try to grind out 
100 followers and then do a cool fleet of some kind. Whelps and battleships and all that cool stuff. That was fun. I am starting the raid. Thanks for hanging out, guys. I will uh I will catch y'all later. <laughs>